while we're speaking of dissenters, there's one more. Yes. Um, and we know uh, that had been going on for quite some time. And I went to Amsterdam in 2019, September. I think we, uh, I took part in a protest, uh, Free Sohail Arabi Day as well. I think a couple of times we've done it on Twitter and ex-Muslims of uh, UK have organized quite a few times. So eventually, I know this is like two weeks old now because I, I couldn't do my show last week. So uh, I didn't get a chance to talk about it. So good news is he's been released um, now and he has been in prison for quite some time. And again, he was also summoned to hearing for the charge of propaganda activities against the state via a video conference held by branch three of Evans Prisons Court. The evidence being brought against the human rights defender for this charge is reporting on the situation of the prison hunger strike and protest against the deprivation deprivation of the political prisoners from medical treatment and publishing statements about November 19, 2019 general protests in Iran. On 3rd of February 2021, Branch 8 of the Sahre Ray Prosecutor's Office ordered to acquit human rights defender Sohail Arabi of propaganda activities against the state, a charge which had been brought against him in a new case while he was serving another sentence in Rajai Shahar Prison in Karachi. So anyway, so on 16th of November, that's uh, nearly two weeks ago, human rights defender Sohail Arabi was released from Rajai Shahar Prison after serving his seven and a half years of prison sentence upon his release, the human rights defender was brought to Burajan in South Iran, where he currently remains while the authorities determine how much of his complimentary exile sentence he has to serve. So I think he's set in, uh, he's in exile now, but I don't know how, if he's in still South of Iran, I don't know what kind of exile that is. But anyway, on November 7, 2020, exactly seven years since his imprisonment, blogger and human rights defender Sohail Arabi was informed that he would be transferred from Evan Prison to another detention center. The defender who was being, who had been in detention since 2013 for blasphemy has suffered repeated ill treatment from prison authorities. His mother, who advocates on behalf of his son, has also faced criminalization. And I think we played one of her videos where she uh, was crying and she was pleading to um uh, to the Iranian regime to release her son etc so um anyway the good the good news is has been uh has been released. fantastic news yeah yeah so Sohail Ar Arabi is a blogger and a photojournalist who won the reporters without borders prize for press freedom in 2017 he was and the campaign by the way to to get him out has been long and hard fought i, I tell you that yeah, but did it work though? Is, is it, yeah, well, it must be because um, why else would they release him? Because he, he was more on a human rights and he wasn't really anti-Islam or anything. He was more on human rights and barbaric uh, practices of the Iranian regime. Um, but anyway, that's just so, as bad that you're 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 still a you're still a dissenter. Oh well, yeah, way. of course. Yeah, I'm saying either way, you know, th th these countries, that just shows their barbaric nature. He was sentenced to death for blasphemy yeah. by Brian 76 of the Criminal Court of Tehran on 30th of August 2014 uh, on charges of insulting the... Pro oh, sorry, he did... Ins he was oh. accused of ch in insulting yeah. the prophet of Islam on Facebook. Since his arrest and detention in 2013, Arabi has become a vocal defender of prisoners' rights and raises awareness from inside prison about unfit condition. And I remember he had... Um, stopped eating he did hunger strikes many a times and a couple of times he his condition was very dangerous like he was malnourished and uh, we don't know uh, whether that was well, well well we as far as we know that that was by his own design he wasn't eating because others around him were not being treated well so mm -hmm. the, one of the protests we actually spoke about that as well um anyway to help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal. 